anorexia is restricting your food intake for what your body needs. What this means is that there are a lot of people who have anorexia who are average or above average body weight. Simply, you're not giving your body enough fuel. So when you're wondering, is this person possibly suffering from an eating disorder? One thing is to look at their growth curves. We would expect someone, if they've always been at the 70th percentile for height and weight, to stay at the 70th percentile. Another key aspect of anorexia nervosa is a fear of becoming fat or a fear of gaining weight or a fear of eating what they need to eat in order to be healthy. Sometimes we see this in something called orthorexia. Orthorexia is not an official diagnosis, but what it means is in the quest, in the attempt to eat pure and clean, you are depriving your body of what it needs. And more importantly, the thoughts of food are monopolizing your brain. When someone's struggling with anorexia, I'd like to ask them on a scale of one to 10, 10 being all the time when you're awake and one being almost never, how often are you thinking about your body? And then I ask, how often do you want to be thinking about your body? When there's a discrepancy between those two numbers, that's an indication that there might be something going on. And then I ask the exact same question, but with food. How often are you thinking about food? And how often do you want to be thinking about food? And oftentimes when someone's struggling with anorexia, again, there's this discrepancy. Their brain is monopolized by thoughts about food and their body. Lastly, the other hallmark of anorexia is having a distorted view of themselves and or a distorted view of their condition. So this could mean that they think that they look like they weigh more than they do, or they think that eating a food is unhealthier than it really is. And oftentimes when people are ill with anorexia nervosa, they don't realize how sick they are. The fancy word for this is egocentonic, or sometimes it's called self-eclipsing. What it means is that if you are depressed, you wanna stop being depressed. And if you're anxious, you wanna stop being anxious. But if you have anorexia nervosa, there's a part of you that wants to hold on to your eating disorder or a part of you that thinks that the eating disorder is helping you or not as severe as it is. And in some ways this makes sense. So many of the behaviors that are part of anorexia nervosa are culturally appropriate behaviors. They're essentially dieting, eating less to try to change how your body appears. Thank you.